There's a fair amount of hard work going on here. Mum's cutting the grass, Dad's doing some online mandolin lessons. I'm out of here. Let's go for a walk. With the daily updates, you can't make up bits. The Black Isle Correspondent. She lives in Fort Rose and tells us what goes on. If your isolation causes desperation, try the Black Isle Correspondent. If you're feeling grumpy, you'll find some company here. Although it currently appears to be the centre of the universe, Fort Rose was once the end of the line. The end of the railway line from Eurovort. It now serves as a recycling centre and a big car park and is home to the local fire station. But this was once Fort Rose Railway Station. And the station house is still there today. There's still the old way bridge just round the corner too. On the way to Station Crescent. Where the row of railway workers' cottages is still a beautiful sight. Fort Rose Station sadly closed in June of 1960, which is pretty sad. It would be really cool if we were still connected by a railway line. However, we do still have the old railway line to walk along to Och. Very popular with walkers, cyclists, joggers, the whole lot. And there are some beautiful views along the way. The path gets fairly narrow in places, so in the interests of keeping our wits about us, getting past other walkers and not tripping over them, Sonny and McPhail have been left at home with the lawnmower for this particular walk. There's a hill up behind Fort Rose. The ground banks pretty steeply down towards the Firth, and the railway line is really high up, which affords you some pretty spectacular views when you're part of the way along. Visit Scotland, y'all, but like after the lockdown when it's safe. Look at that, beautiful, a view out towards the Cairngorms. A wee bit further along the path, somebody has built this chair so they could sit and enjoy the view through the trees, out to the glimmering sea and over to the mountains. That's really bonny. But don't touch stuff at the moment, okay? Just don't touch stuff. Wash your hands. This is a hands-free path. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood. And sorry I could not travel both and be one traveller. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth, then took the other. Now I'm pretty sure Robert Frost was not talking about the Fort Rose to Och railway line, which does not bend, does not fork, does not deviate just goes straight between the two villages. Oh, nature. A load of lovely bluebells. At least I think they're bluebells. They look a lot like bluebells. If they're not bluebells, they should be. You lads bluebells, yeah? Sorted. At one with the plants. I go a walking along the railway. That's just my way. Of saying, hud the bus, a clearing with a bench and a memorial. What gives? The shadow over Culloden will rise and the sun will shine brighter. This is a fairly recent addition to the path along the railway line, and the view from the bench is out over the Firth across the Culloden battlefield. Let's see if this wee path takes us to a viewpoint. Well, it's a pretty good view, isn't it? Up ahead, a gate, and through the trees we can see the old parish church of Och. We've reached the end of the railway line walk. More about Och another day. There's an awful lot of interesting stuff happened here. Now, I'll need to phone Mum to come and get me, take me home. 